Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and while the US and Canada is currently experiencing a polar vortex, Cal and I are fortunate enough to be down here in Baja. We brought with us our mountain bikes, and this season I've been riding the Pearl Izumi Expedition Pro shoe. This has been a big change in my last shoe that I probably had for maybe 10 years. My feet are I would consider a little bit on the narrow side. I wasn't sure going with this shoe how much I'd like it because this toe box is quite a bit wider than a CD toe box. If you know anything about CDs, they're usually associated with a little bit of a narrower fit. But thankfully with the BOA system, I'm able to get these in a perfect snug fit. I've been extremely happy with them. The one thing I will say is that the sole is very stiff. And where this comes into play is hike a bike. So if I'm getting off the bike and trying to walk around in these or trying to hike around, what I find is I do have a little bit of heel slippage. Now this isn't enough that it affects me on the bicycle where I'm spending 99.9%, .9%, hopefully, of my time. I don't notice anything there, but because they're so stiff and they don't bend at all trying to walk, I do just have a little bit of slippage with my heel. Probably my favorite feature that I like about these shoes is the dual BOA system. This allows for a very precise fit. And actually I was pretty surprised. With my CDs before, I had two straps down low that were Velcro. And then the one at the top was kind of this click type system. And I always liked it, but I was surprised at how much better of a fit I was able to get with the BOA. The tongue is also padded. So I found that I don't have any hot spots, which I was a little bit nervous about with how thin these cables are on the BOA system. I thought for sure I'd probably be able to feel that after riding for four or five hours at a time. And I haven't felt any of that. There's just plenty of padding to go throughout the entire time tongue and really, like I said, snug that fit down. One thing that I don't love about the BOA is if you get it too tight, you can't back the dial off. So when you go to tighten it, you just turn the dial and it clicks. But in order to loosen it, the only way to do that is to pop the dial completely out. And at that point, the entire shoe will loosen for you. And you kind of have to start over and just make sure that you don't go too tight. It's not really that big of a deal, but definitely something to note. Now on the bottom of the shoe, you do have a good tread pattern. So if you're gonna be in the mud, sand, dirt, climbing up hills, that kind of stuff, this tread pattern is very conducive to giving you sure footing. One thing to mention on it is the tread is more of a very either extremely hard rubber or almost a plastic material. This is great because it's not going to wear down very quickly. However, if you're climbing around rocks, sandstone, and it's very steep, I have found that I can get the very front of the shoe to give me a little bit of some slippage when I get on my toes and I'm trying to walk up something that's really steep. It's not the end of the world, and what I like about this is that it is going to last an extremely long time. Also, it is SPD compatible, and I have these paired with egg beaters. Again, the sole is extremely stiff. I cannot get these to flex at all. I personally like that, that's what I prefer. And not only am I gonna be using these on the mountain bike, but this spring I'd like to get a gravel bike and I think these shoes are going to be the perfect addition for a gravel bike as well. On the outside of the shoe, they do have this layer around the entire exterior on the lower portion that's going to give you just a little bit of protection. I have rubbed on the outside of both of my feet, I've rubbed up against rocks and it, there's a little bit of scuffing there, but it really doesn't show any damage at all. And I'm not concerned that these are gonna wear out anytime soon. There's also some perforation throughout the toe box as well as the side, allowing just a little bit of extra airflow. I personally have very hot feet and we've been riding down here where it's 80, 85 degrees. My feet still get hot, but I do notice the airflow just through this portion of the shoe. Another thing that I like about these is that for me, there's enough room in here to put in an aftermarket footbed if I wanted to go that route. Also, I mentioned the gravel bike. 
That's something I would be doing in late fall and early spring when the temperatures are a little bit cooler. And I could easily fit a thicker sock into this shoe. And again, with the BOA system, I can still get a dialed fit no matter what I'm wearing or what the conditions outside are gonna be like. As far as sizing goes, I usually wear a 10 or 10 and a half. And I don't remember exactly what size my CDs are, but I will leave that in the description below. With the Expedition Pro, I did size down. I originally got the same size as what I had in the CD and it was too big. So I sized down. These are now a 44 and a half and that has been the perfect size. I will mention that if you do have a very narrow foot, these may be just a little bit on the wide side for you and I'd maybe look for a shoe that is a little bit narrower. But even with what I consider a narrow foot like myself, these still work great. And I found that my foot doesn't tend to get numb anymore like it did in my CDs. If you guys have any questions about the Expedition Pro, please leave them in the comments comment section below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, find us on Instagram and Facebook at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.